we're going to learn to recognize and factor perfect square polynomials in this video. So for example, say I have the polynomial x squared plus 6x plus 9. And if someone asks you, hey, can you factor this into two binomials? Well, using techniques we learn in other videos, say, okay, I need to find two numbers whose product is 9 and whose sum is 6. And so I encourage you to think of, to pause this video and say, well, what two numbers can I can add up to 6? And if I take their product, I get 9. Well, 9 only has so many factors, really 1, 3, and 9. And 1 plus 9 does not equal 6. And so, and negative 1 plus negative 9 does not equal 6. But 3 times 3 equals 9. And 3 plus 3 does equal 6. 3 times 3, 3 plus 3. And so we can factor this as x plus 3 times x plus 3, which is, of course, the same thing as x plus 3 squared. And so what was it about this expression that, that made us recognize, or maybe now we will start to recognize as it being a perfect square? Well, I have, of course, some variable that is being squared, which we need. I have some perfect square as the constant. And that whatever is being squared there, I have two times that as the coefficient on this first degree term here. Let's see if that is generally true. And I'll switch up the variables just to show that we can. So let's say that I have a squared plus 14a plus 49. So a few interesting things are happening here. All right, I have my variable squared. I have a perfect square constant term, that is 7 squared right over here. And my coefficient on my first degree term here, that is 2 times the thing that's being squared. That is 2 times 7. Or you could say it's 7 plus 7. So you can immediately say, OK, if I want to factor this, this is going to be a plus 7 squared. And you can, of course, verify that by multiplying out by figuring out what a plus 7 squared is. Sometimes when you're first learning, it's like, hey, isn't that just a squared plus 7 squared? No. Remember, this is the same thing as a plus 7 times a plus 7. And you can calculate this by using the FOIL, F-O-I-L technique. I don't like that so much because you're not thinking mathematically about what's happening. Really, you just have to do the distributive property twice here. First, you can multiply a plus 7 times a. So a plus 7 times a, and then multiply a plus 7 times 7. So plus a plus 7 times 7. And so this is going to be a squared plus 7a plus, now we distribute this 7, plus 7a plus 49. So now you see where that 14a came from. It's from the 7a plus the 7a. You see where the a squared came from, and you see where the 49 came from. And you can say, speak of this in more general terms. If I, wanted to, if I wanted to just take the expression a plus b and square it, that's just a plus b times a plus b. And we do exactly what we did just here. But here I'm just doing in very general terms with a or b. And you can think of a as either a constant number or even a variable. And so this is going to be. If we distribute this, it's going to be a plus b times that a plus a plus b times that b. And so this is going to be a squared. Now I'm just doing the distributive property again. a squared plus ab plus ab plus b squared. So it's a squared plus 2ab plus b b squared. So this is going to be the general form. So if a is the variable, which was x or, or a in this case, then it's just going to be whatever squared in the constant term is going to be 2 times that times the variable. And I want to show that there's some variation that you can entertain here. So if you were to see 25 plus 10x plus x squared, and someone wanted you said, hey, why don't you factor that? Well, you can say, look, this right here is a perfect square. It's 5 squared. I have the variable squared right over here. And then this coefficient on our first degree term is 2 times 5. And so you might immediately recognize this as 5 plus x squared. Now, of course, you could just rewrite this polynomial as x squared 
plus 10x plus 25, in which case you might say, hey, okay, variable squared, some number squared, five squared, two times that number is a coefficient here, so that's going to be x plus five squared. And that's good because these two things are absolutely equivalent.